Okay, so in this video, we'll go over some features in the coronal sections of the brain. I hope you uh, reviewed the previous videos uh, for the uh, cross-sectional um, and the sagittal sections, as well as the relations of the basal ganglia. Uh, we're taking uh, the sections from the front backwards. Those are coronal sections. So the patient is basically looking at you and the patient is cut from the top down. Uh, and since you're looking at the patient, this is left side, this is right side. We've uh, removed the first few sections because they were uh, not showing much uh, features. This is kind of the beginning of the genu of the uh, corpus callosum. So you can start to see some fibers coming together to cross from the right to the left side. This is the tip of uh, the um, uh, temporal lobes, and these would be the frontal lobes, uh, left side and right side. Let me flip this to the other side so I can show you the next section uh, backwards. So again, we're going from the front backwards. We started seeing some basal ganglia action here. Um, so what are we looking at? Th these are the lateral ventricles, okay? This is the septum pellucidum. This is the uh, corpus callosum making the roof. So which part of the basal ganglia will this be? These are the heads of the caudate nuclei on the right side and on the left side, right and left, because I flipped the section, remember? Uh, so I'm now looking from the back forward. So this here is the head of the caudate on this side. This is the head of the caudate on this side. Then you have the internal capsule, as you know. Okay, but in this area, it's almost as if the internal capsule is very transparent, should I say, or there's a lot of crossing fibers through the, the internal capsule between what and what? Between the head of the caudate and the next base of ganglia here and here. What is this? This is the putamen. Okay, so this is where the putamen and the caudate become one unit. And we call that the dorsal striatum, if you recall. So uh, the nucleus accumbens would be uh, the uh, other component to that. It will be right about here in space in front of this, um, this complex. And they, people consider the three as one unit called the dorsal uh, striatum. So you can see here, they become almost like one single object. Let's go to the next section backwards. This here is the next section, and we start. Uh, we will start to see uh, more of the uh, organization of the basal ganglia. First, let's let's look at where we are. Uh, this is the temporal lobe on the right side. This is the temporal lobe on the left side. We're looking from the front backwards, and this is the optic chiasm. Okay, so. Right about here, you have the uh, septum pellucidum, you have the corpus callosum, this is the um, uh, lateral ventricle on the right side, on the left side, this is right uh, lateral ventricle on the left side, this is the caudate nucleus, and this here is the lentiform nucleus. Uh, most of it, I can tell you, it is the putamen, and uh, maybe there is part here that is different a little bit right here, not showing much here, but this could be the globus pallidus on the right side. And this here's the colostrum, okay? And this here's the insula on the right side and on the left side, okay? Next, go backwards, one section, okay, again lateral ventricle on the right side, lateral ventricle on the left side, septum pellucidum in the middle. Uh, what is this here? You started seeing some uh, fornix. This is where the fornix were so fused together in the midline. Um, and here you started seeing some uh, uh, thalamus because you're going backwards. So you started seeing the thalamus uh, right here. This is the caudate nucleus. And this is the internal capsule going from 
below upwards, not showing that much on this side, but here it's showing much better. And here you have the uh, putamen and is the only one showing here, maybe a little bit of the uh, globus pallidus, but I think it will show better in the next section. Okay, this is the next section lateral. And you can see here very clearly the putamen, globus pallidus externa, globus pallidus interna. I don't know if you can see the distinction between the two. I hope you, you do. And then you have the, the uh, in the temporal lobes, you start seeing the uh, hippocampus right here. Um, okay, so what is this part here? This is the, uh, the end of the midbrain, I would say, beginning of the pons. Uh, actually, it's cut in a bevel. It's not really cut uh, perpendicular to the brain stem. So this, I would say, this is this here is entirely pons. Um, but you can still see uh, the substantia nigra right here and the subthalamic nuclei on this side and on this side. This is the thalamus on this side. This is the thalamus on this side, um, and. Uh, this is the uh, end of the, the third ventricle, the beginning of uh, the uh, uh, cerebral aqueduct. Actually, I think, again, because it's not really uh, exactly perpendicular, so it's showing interrupted like that. Um, lateral ventricle on the left, lateral ventricle on the right, and then you have the septum pellucidum and the two phonesis. Uh, it started to separate into two uh, distinctive masses. Uh, you have colostrum on this side, you have the insula on this side. Okay, so let's go a little bit backwards. Things start to be a little bit muddled in here. Uh, you can see, uh, again, because of the section, you can see some of the midbrain here. You can see the uh, substantia nigra, those dark areas and the pons and the medulla. Uh, this is what remains of the thalamus backwards and the phonesis and the lateral ventricle on, on each side. I don't, I can't really comment on the uh, basal ganglia in this area. It's not really showing that well, but it, you should still see uh, the uh, putamen uh, in, this, in this section, but I don't really see it that well. Here is where we see the end, almost the end of the thalamus on each side. And what are these? These are the two fornices on both sides. This is the uh, left side, this is the right side, and this is the fornix commissure right here. So if this is the fornix commissure, what, what would this be? This is the pineal gland. Remember, this is the end, we're cutting at the end, posterior end of the thalamus, so it went basically through uh, the stalk of the pineal gland, and you can see it as if it's a fruit that fell from the tree. Uh, so that's the pineal gland. This is the uh, corpus callosum still, and uh, you can see here the arrow is actually pointing at uh, the uh, hippocampus on this side, and uh, this is the cerebellum. You can see the uh, superior peduncle, you can see the middle here, you can see the inferior peduncle in the white matter of uh, the cerebellum. And when we go a little bit more lateral, you will start seeing more of the uh, uh, um, hippocampus and the dentate uh, uh, gyrus on this side. This is uh, mostly in the temporal this is a section in mostly in the temporal lobe here, and this would be the inferior uh, horn of uh, the um, lateral ventricle. But I want you to focus on the cerebellum for now. Uh, we're looking from the back forward, so this is right, this is left, and you can see in the white matter of the uh, cerebellum, you can see the dentate uh, nucleus. You don't see that much of the interposed uh, or the vestigial, uh, but you can see the dentate really, 
clearly on both sides. And you can see the part of the vermis in the, uh, in the midline. Okay. This section here shows more of uh, the cerebellum, uh, the dentate nucleus. Again, the other nuclei are not really showing uh, that well. Um, I think that's as much as uh, I want to show in this one. Uh, you can see the posterior horn of, uh, the tip of the posterior horn of the lateral ventricle on this side so you can you, you can tell this is the uh, beginning of the occipital lobe. Let me see if I can. Uh, this here, we are here in the occipital lobe, and this is the calcarean sulcus um, on this side. So this is where the visual uh, cortex would be, and this is the end of uh, the cerebellum. I hope uh, I've covered most of the structures that you. Uh, need in uh, the coronal sections. I hope you can go over all the three orientations uh, so you can get a better picture of the three-dimensional uh, anatomy of uh, the brain in, in, in cross sections.